It's not the first time. But it definitely doesn't feel like the first time. And it won't be the last time. Clickety flop. We won't stop. So, how crazy is it? You know, you have these beautiful mountains. And, uh, you know, there are heat restrictions posted. So, if there's a heat advisory to where the temperature is going to be 111 plus, they will close the mountain ranges. However, if you're on them before that time, um, you know, you don't get in trouble. And unfortunately, sometimes there are still medical instances where EMS is called. I mean, I've witnessed probably at least eight or nine rescues since I've been on here. I've been hiking these mountains. This one, P.S. to Peak. I've given water to folks. And... Hey, guy. Eeny, meeny, miny, wo. <laughs> There's so many ways to go. Yeah, really. Have fun. Thanks, you too. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's, there's the guys I saw at the top. Huh. They must have hung out for a little while. So again, I like to grab, I like to gravitate to the boulders. So instead of the actual trail, but I'm gonna go be nosy and see who these guys are. There they are. I will say there's a lot of Grand Canyon students that come here. So I'll probably bug them and ask them again. I'm gonna go over this side and uh, I might startle them. So I'm coming around the mountain on this side. I'm coming around the mountain on this side. Do, 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 do. Careful, careful. Oh man, he's carrying his water. Man, how are you carrying that? <laughs> he doesn't hear me. Let's see. How are you carrying that water? <laughs> I know. This is like a two hand job. Yeah, it's hard to carry that stuff. seemed a little serious so I didn't want to bug them and say young man where are you from yeah I just noticed a little concern on their faces so let them be god bless them definitely look like they could be athletes though but we do have a lot of visitors so There are quite a few people who do carry water. I just don't know how they do it, man. Because I use my hands. For some. Hitting some boulders on the way down. Yeah, I never had like a try trude way of going down just kind of wherever my body tosses me <laughs> depending on wind how many energy I have in my quads hey uh, how you doing good good, good. yeah 
Good care for <laughs> Oh my gosh, you are so right. <laughs> Just drink, drink a lot of water. <laughs> I get it. Yep, yep. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. Exercise is great if you're hungover. Yep. I don't drink all that much when I have in the past. And I feel like crap. Particularly when I lived right here in Acadia. Because there's this little Mexican restaurant that I would patronize once sometimes twice a week and I would only have a margarita and a half and it knocked me off my socks Los Dos Molinos and so oh man it's my favorite favorite place to eat here family owned business oh it's been a tradition for like I don't I forget how many years but yeah they uh have I think three three locations all family owned so grandparents parents and kids oh my gosh the best place so anyway that's where I learned the best thing to do in the morning after having run I just go for a run actually I would come here I would run here from my apartment which was like I don't know I think it was a mile and a half away maybe a little bit longer might have been two miles then I'd hike this, jog home, boom, completely back to normal. So other than a little dehydrated, whoops. So anyway, I got off that tangent with that gentleman who said it was good for a hangover. But uh, I don't know how much longer this is gonna record. I have some sections coming up here that I wanna show you. So I'm gonna turn her off now and be back.